All right, folks, we are out for another walk, and we haven't found any snakes, but we did come across this male Chinese moon moth, or Chinese luna moth, which is pretty cool because on our last vlog, we actually found a female. And they're a little bit more light green with some pink highlights, and the males here, as you can see, are uh, much more yellow over the whole body with some also pink, but some purple highlights as well. So I don't have the ideal lens for filming this video right now, but I did want to stop for a few seconds just to show you so that we have a reference for the uh, male and female. And as you can tell, there's some sexual dimorphism going on with the coloration. They're about the same size though. This one's also about the size of my hand. I'll see if I can get kind of a reference in there for you. There's my hand, there's the moth. <laughs> Not a ideal reference, it's kind of hard again, like I said, with this lens, but really cool find. We're gonna keep at it for the snakes, and if we find any, we'll check back in. All right, folks, we've got our next snake. Just slithering up by this wall here. This is a juvenile common wolf snake. This is a species we've seen on the vlog a number of times. I'll link some videos here. They'd have some more robust descriptions, but I'm filming one-handed in the wind and uh, not gonna really be able to keep it up much longer. So, pretty cool little snakes. Very common species, terrestrial. Very good at climbing flat surfaces. And yeah, as their name indicates, common wolf snakes are quite common. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one get on its way, but wanted to stop and make sure that I got a chance to show you guys. All right, we'll check back in with the next one. All right, folks, we are out for another evening and didn't really expect to find too much on a casual walk here, so I don't even have my proper sound equipment, but we stumbled across another McClellan's coral snake. And that's the second of these in probably less than two weeks now. This one is a very pretty example. They're pretty snakes in general, but some uh, cool morphology on this one. This has uh, got some broken bands you can see there behind the head. And down towards the tail, there's a little bit of aberrant marking. Uh, really, really cool. And it's a very, very deep brick red specimen with the really standard uh, coral kind of yellow outlines to the black bands. And it's pretty chill right now. I've got kind of a, a wonky lens here, so bear with me while I give you the overhead. There we go. But as you can see, really, really pretty snake. Uh, we're just going to let it get on its way here and uh, not bother it too much, but very cool find. And we're only halfway done with the walk, so if we find anything else on the walk out, we will check back in. All right, everyone, we're out for another night of herping. And we've got a tried and true bamboo pit viper to open the evening. So, always a little bit tricky to tell on some of the larger specimens with slightly faded markings, but this is actually quite a large male. You can tell by the white stripe that's faintly visible right along the upper jaw. And there's also a white stripe down the body, but that can be present on females as well. So, pretty cool find. It's actually a, a little bit breezy and cool out tonight, so not expecting too much more in the way of snakes. Maybe we'll find some cool insects or um, other animals that we can toss on the vlog here. But this is a good sign to start out, so maybe, maybe we will end up having some luck with the snakes. But cool start. We're gonna keep going, and we will check back in if we come up with anything else. Okay, folks, we got our next snake of the evening, and as expected, it's another bamboo pit viper. This is a much smaller one, and you can see here it's set up in standard viper ambush. You can see it's coiled up there, it's got its tail anchored up in the bush, and its head is coiled back there, and you can see 
it's set up in the greenery right out over this wall. It's a very, very common setup for a viper. And it's because they can remain camouflaged in the leaves, but they have a very clear strike zone if a gecko or something else runs by on the wall. So pretty cool to see it like this. Um, like I said, I would expect that this would be the most common species out given the cooler weather, but who knows? Uh, this is uh, quite a number of snakes in a short walk, so maybe we'll come up with something else. And there's lots of cool bugs and other things here as well. Uh, also some mammals known to be around the area, so we'll check back in if we come up with anything else um, as cool or more cool than this. All right, folks, just up the trail from the last one, come across another bamboo viper. See if you can see it. There it is, hidden right in the middle of the leaves. Also set up just above this little wall in some greenery. I'm not gonna get any closer than this. I don't wanna scare it out of its ambush spot. But pretty cool. Three vipers in a very short uh, walk here. We got a long ways to go, so hopefully we'll find something else and we'll pop back on and show you if we do. All right, well we've just started our walk out and we managed to come across this really cool many spotted cat snake. So we've seen a number of these on the vlog during the year. Uh, but we're late in the season now, so it's always cool to find something like this. And I would say this is a sub-adult size, maybe getting towards a small adult. Uh, but it's not a very big snake. You can see here, maybe the hand reference. Pretty, uh, pretty small snake. And this one's set up actually just like the vipers are. It's kind of sitting on this vine and facing the wall. And I'm assuming waiting for a gecko or something similar to run by. A very cool find. Awesome to get this so late in the season and on the walk out. And we're gonna let it go about its business here. And who knows, we've, like I said, just started the walk out, so may still be a few more snakes or something else cool on the way. We'll check back in if we find something. All right, well, the cat snake has moved out here and gotten a little bit defensive, so I thought I'd get just a little bit more video before we make our way out. You can see here the head sitting up right there, little tongue flicks coming out. You might be able to make out uh, the shape of the eyes, which is where they get their common name, cat snake. Got kind of cat-like eyes with slits in them. And pretty camouflaged when they're off in the bush, but nice, uh, clearly visible markings when they're not. And there's that very distinct arrow-shaped marking on the head, which is a good differentiator between them and some of the other species here they can be confused with, uh, especially and specifically the habu. But yeah, very cool snake. Maybe the last one of the night. But like we said, anything else pops up, and we will pop back on. All right, just a few more meters up the path, and we found this really beautiful, quite large female bamboo pit viper moving along this rock face. There's the uh, orange tail tip, actually not very long in terms of the coloration, all the way down to the much longer, deeper head than you find on the males. And not sure what she's out and about doing. She's not set up for ambush. Maybe she already got a meal. Maybe she's looking for a boy, hard to say, but very cool to find. Pretty good sign. I mean, who knows? Maybe a few more left in store for us before we're done and check back in if we find anything.
All right, folks, as mentioned, we've uh, found another snake, and uh, as I guessed it might be if we found one more, it's a bamboo again. And this one is a pretty amazingly colored male. Um, you can see the markings really distinct, the uh, white stripe above the lip there, no mistaking this as a male bamboo pit viper. And I'm not sure how well it's going to come through on the video at night here, but this one is a really kind of almost greenish, bluish color. Really, really vibrant male. Really, really cool. And you can see his supposed cordial lure there. On the bottom, that's the uh, orange tail. And this one also has a very well-defined lateral stripe there white striping down the body and then up to the head again where you can see the very very clear and distinct white stripe on the upper lip. A very cool find. I think we're just about done so this will probably close us out. If not we'll pop back on. Otherwise we will kick it off again on the next walk.